Jesus, my Timmy. Jesus. Jesus. Don't you stop. Ah, you're going farms. So, now this one. Who's taking care of them? There is another great man there. So when was it lost? 2021 August. Ah, I'm sure they've eaten it. <laughs> In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for restoring the lifestyle of this woman. I pray for your marriage to be restored. I pray for your child to get a permanent job. I pray that let God speak with your husband, change his heart, change his behavior in Jesus' mighty name. And heal this woman. In Jesus' name. Amen. Greetings, everyone. My name is Dineo. My surname is Hatsorotsi. I am from Hanisa in Northwest. The reason I'm here today is because of some multiple things which if I can mention the concern about my marriage uh, the environment at my workplace my children's work like my son Boaho and Honitle my sister's daughter who never worked since trying to apply for work. She's now 25 years old. She never worked anyway. And another thing is that my car was lost in 2021. And it's like my car is not far from me. It's just around me. But there is that cloud that make me not to found it. They are affecting me a lot. I sometimes even feel tired, tired of work, tired of my marriage. I feel tortured most of the time. Uh, for coming here, I was invited by one of my colleagues who was here on the 18th of February. So she came home overwhelmed and she encouraged me to come here because she know some of my things. So I came here yesterday. I got the opportunity to meet the man of God today. So the man of God touched all of the things that they, I came here about. The first, first thing he spoke about was my marriage. He asked me about the support from my husband whether my husband is help me, helping me, maybe he asked me about our house, whether he's helped me to finish my house. So the other thing that he commented about is that my husband doesn't know the things of God. So he was praying that God can touch him because if he cannot be touched, he won't repent from the things that he's doing. So the other thing is that uh, my, at my workplace, the man of God said, people at my workplace, they don't like me at all. They even want me to be chased away, to go work somewhere. The man of God says these people are using some of the things to affect that so that they this thing can affect my legs. 
so that I can be maybe like paralyzed. They don't like me. I even tell the men of God that one of the ladies they uh, confess it to another person. And this came, this person came to me and tell me that this sister doesn't like you. She even said you are, she want you out of this yard. Concerning the legs, she said, as a praying woman, he said you are a praying woman. The reason you are here is because you are praying. That is why some of the things don't affect you. So he encouraged me to go home and continue praying. Mm. The other thing that he spoke about is about uh, my son. He said my son is not supposed to be working a, a contract my son should have a permanent work and then he prayed for him and he <coughs> he said my son is going to get a permanent job the other thing he, 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 he asked me is that some of the things that are happening between me and my husband my children should not know about it and he even told me that he doesn't want to say other things because we see that those things will hurt me a lot. Mm. I'm so much blessed. I was touched. Sometimes when the men of God tell some of the things that you know, you become so embarrassed. But you know them. But you become so touched. I was very touched when he spoke about my marriage. Very touched. I'm feeling good because... When I come here, I had some questions. The question that I was asking me is that, why things happening to me? Is my prayers not answered? I, I was having this question to God that, where are my prayers going? Why my prayers are not answered? But today, I know I will go out of this church knowing that God hears my prayers. Because the man of God told me that if you were not praying, you could have been affected by a lot of the things. The encourage to other people or other brethren, don't give up. Don't lose focus on your God. Continue praying. Pray for your family. Pray for everything that you have. He even touched the car. He asked me whether I have a loan at the bank. I said, no, I don't have a loan. But my plan was to go make a loan at the bank. And he said, I see a new 